Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how you can change text in Vim. So let's begin by changing a word. All right. I'm gonna put the cursor right here at the beginning of the word message, and I'm going to type C W to delete the word. And not only that, once the word is deleted, uh, Vim activates insert mode. So, um, once in insert mode, you can type anything you like. Okay, I'm gonna press escape and undo this. Now, this is the main difference between uh, changing words or changing characters most of the time between deleting words. All right, when we delete a word, for example, DW in this case, Vim doesn't activate insert mode. But again, if you press CW, it does. Okay, so that's the main that's the main difference. Difference. Sorry, I'm gonna press escape and undo this. Great. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I told you about increments. How we can use increments to delete more than one word. And in doing that, we can delete three words with one command or more. For example, if I want to delete, well, to change in this case, because we are changing. If I want to change um, three words, I can type three three W. All right. Then delete three words and then activate insert mode. All right. Now, uh, remember that the number tells Vim how many times you want to execute a command. All right. Which is what I did. Now, you can also put the number as a second character in the command. For example, I can say C3 and then W. And the result is the same, all right. And of course, once you are in set mode, you can type anything, anything you want. I'm gonna undo this now. These two type of commands can be mixed, so you can mix the first one I I typed with the second I typed. For example, I can say, well, I can type. 3, C, 3, and then W. And now here, here the result is different. Uh, why? Remember from the previous video, when you mix uh, this type, uh, when you mix this trick, these tricks, the first number tells them how many times you want to lead. And the second number tells me how many words you want to delete, okay? So I'm gonna undo this, what I did, and if I type, for example, three, C, it means delete or change three, three times, all right? And then two, W, it means two words, okay? In other words, delete, or change three words, I'm sorry, three times three words. Okay? Or oh, sorry, two words, because I type three two uh three C two W. Alright. So it is important to remember this technique if you are going to mix them. It is rarely used. Uh, this kind of technique is rarely used. But if you want to play with it. You have to keep that in mind. Now, another technique, I'm gonna escape this and undo this. Go to normal mode and undo the what I did. Now, another way to delete a word, or well, to change a word, is when we have the cursor in the middle of the word, or within the word. Now, here, it is completely in the middle of the word welcome. So, if I want to delete the entire word here, 
you have to change well you have to type the uh, the keyboard and the key is C I W and the word is completely deleted and remember after that then activate the insert mode now I'm gonna escape this go to normal mode and then undo this now I'm going to I'm going to put the cursor again in the middle of the word and in, to show you what happens if you type CW. As you can see, the word then deletes uh, the character from the cursor position up, up to the end of the word. All right? And then activates the insert mode. So I'm going to escape this to go in order to return to normal mode and undo this. Now, Another thing that I want to show you how to substitute characters, okay, individual characters. So in this case, I'm I'm at the beginning of the uppercase A here. It could be in any place of the word, right? Doesn't matter. So if I want to substitute the A for another letter or for uh, uh, more letters, for example. What you need to do is to type S, all right? And as you can see, then activates insert mode again and deletes the 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 character. So you can type anything you like if you want. Okay, go to normal mode and then undo this. All right. Now you can also do the replace command, and you can. In order to replace a character, you type the R key and then, as you can see, Vim doesn't do anything. Vim is waiting for the character you want to place uh, where the cursor is located. So if I want to type, um, I can replace A, for example, with the letter O, and as you can see the A disappears. Oh well, not disappear. It changes to letter to letter O. All right. I'm gonna press U to undo this. And another thing that I want to show you is how to delete the content that is inside parentheses. So if I want to delete all of this that is between parentheses, you can type. C I and then open parentheses and there you have it. We only have the parentheses there, so then you know and you have insert mode already activated. That's that's normal. Now I'm going to undo this. Now if you want to delete the content and also the parentheses, what you have to do is to type C A okay in this case c a and then open parentheses now i'm gonna press k to go to normal mode so you can see that there is no parentheses line all right this technique work uh, sorry this technique works uh, with brackets also for example here if i type c i open brackets can see all the content all the content that was inside the brackets disappears okay and then activates insert mode now go to normal mode and undo this this technique also works with quotations braces and Ankle brackets in case you are, that you are editing an HTML file, for example. Uh, well, and you name it. So the main difference between deleting text and changing text is what it does at the end. So what it does is when you delete the uh, text, then doesn't activate insert mode. But when you change text, then activate insert mode. So keep that in mind these two differences because it depends on the situation you want to delete only or you want to change something. Okay. Uh, 
So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.